Hey guys, Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. Welcome to my channel and uh, thanks for joining me for a daily tarot card reading. This is going to be for Thursday, April 8th, which is my birthday. So make sure you give me a shout out. Um, uh, turning 56 this year, which is like, makes my head explode. It's like, anyway, uh, so guys, the deck I'm using is the Return of Spirit. So I'm wearing this because of my birthday, obviously. So anyway, and the card I pulled for you guys is Prayers. So this is a really cool card. And I know the light's a little bright, but I need to be able to read from this companion book that I have in my hands here. So I, I think this is going to be a really cool card. I, I love the Return of Spirit deck. So this is the first thing that is said here in this book is that you are being heard exclamation point. Your guides and angels are acknowledging your prayers, thoughts, and communication with them. This is their way affirming, uh, of affirming to you that your messages are getting through to them loud and clear. It is easy to feel as though you are not being heard at times, mainly because, of the, because the communication feels as though it is only one way. This is exactly why the prayer card has come to you today. Every time you pray or talk to your guides and angels, you are opening up a direct line of communication with them. Although they cannot answer you in the form of words, they are sending you energetic and intuitive replies. Take time after your prayers to sit quietly, feel your own energy and the energy within your room. You will start to feel that you are becoming more sensitive to their presence. And just as I'm saying this, Lacey is just looking off into the corner as if she sees something. And trust me, like, uh, there's nobody here. Just me and her. So, I mean, that's saying something to me. You know, when we're talking about angels being present to you. Um, anyway, so you will start to find that you are becoming more sensitive to their presence and may also start to tune into the divine messages they have for you. Uh, if you have not been speaking to your guides and angels, then this card has come to encourage you to do so. Relationships take effort on both sides, and they are wanting to build their relationship with you. Talking with spirit is a powerful way to feel supported, connected, and cared for, especially when we are feeling alone in our physical world. Usually when this card appears, it is because you are much more able than most. That's very interesting. To feel the messages of spirit. Prayer is a powerful building block in strengthening your intuitive gifts. Begin looking for replies and answers to your prayers in your everyday world as well. Spirit is reaching out to communicate back to you now. So, <clears throat> did everybody see the Monday reading? Because... I was seeing where um, your spirit guides were trying to talk to you, but you weren't getting the message. So many of you could have been waking up in the middle of the night or seeing the same number on the clock. I guess you would have to wake up to see that too, or just not being able to get back to sleep or having a restless sleep. And I was saying your spirit guides have a message for you. So this is why meditation is also very important, you guys, because prayer is speaking to God or to the universe or to your angels or whatever you practice. But meditation is listening, even if you're not hearing anything in your meditative practice. And it doesn't have to be an exhaustive, you know, one hour meditation. You can do five, 10. I usually do 15, 20 minutes a day but you are allowing your, your subconscious mind to come to the forefront through meditation so that your spirit guides can bring those messages to you. You might not even understand them, okay? You might not even be uh, cognizant of them, but it's happening and you just have to give your brain that period of time, that downtime. So... <clears throat> And you have to know that every message that you give out to your spirit guides, to God, to source, to the universe is always heard. It's always heard. You know, you don't have to worry about it. You have been heard. But your spirit guides, they don't just pull up in a vehicle and bang on your door and come and have coffee with you. And I just saw angel number 444. So you guys are surrounded by... Like such divine love and light and angelic presence and, you know, again, whatever it is that you believe in or have faith in, 
that is always around you. You're walking in it. You are that part of the universe. You know, it flows with every beat of your heart. You know, it's just so powerful. So if you don't receive an immediate response, immediate response you know you can look for synchronicities which are those angel numbers that i talk about all the time or um you know one of your favorite songs comes on the radio like wow i love this song or something you know you get a text message from your best friend these are all synchronicities or you see like that thing that you're trying to manifest you see somebody that matches that description of your your perfect twin flame or you see that type of vehicle driving down the street oh i was just asking if i could have one of those manifested in my life these are signs you know so you might want to look up a little bit about synchronicities just so you understand how the spirit realm responds to you because they're always hearing you. They're always listening and they always love you. Okay, guys, so um, I'm going to wrap it up on that. Probably go have a big cry and just say happy birthday to me and uh, love you guys. Bye for now. Bye.